looking at quantization in band lab, we're going to use the example of my walking baseline. Um, I've just called it walking baseline because that's a helpful label for me. It's not necessarily like a tell Bubbly's walking bass. Anyway, let's have a listen. So it's pretty, pretty accurate, if I do say so myself, but it's not perfect. So if we look at these grids here, you can see that these notes aren't beginning perfectly on a grid or ending perfectly on a grid either. Um, yeah, particularly looking, say, here. Um, I don't know if we can zoom in there, but it's not exactly perfect. Um, and it doesn't sound bad. And if you were listening to that live, you'd hardly notice... Um, and it gives it a more human sound. But the thing is, when we put this into MuseScore, it's going to give us some quite funky rhythms. And when there's crossover of notes as well, it might also um, give, give multiple voices and for, for what is a quite a simple line. So what we're going to do is quantize. So I've soloed the part, we've selected the track. Now if I just click in this piano roll here and then um, select all, so Command A or Control A, everything's selected. Now, you can try a few different things. Let's, for example, let's go to eighth note um, and quantize. Now, I don't think that that's going to make it sound very good because it means that the smallest note value that you want in this track is an eighth note, um, which will be quite long if we take a look. Um, so if we listen, that mightn't be what we want it to sound like. Whoops, we don't want that. It's a bit more robotic and it's taken out some of the syncopation that we've got there. So I'm going to undo that. That's an example of how sometimes quantization isn't what you want it to be. Now. I obviously want a shorter note value so that we keep the integrity of the syncopation that's happening. So we could try 16th triplet, but I don't think it's so syncopated that it is triplets. I think it's just regular 16th notes. And I'm going to apply that to the whole track. You, I could adjust specific notes, um, but I'm just going to apply this to the whole track and let's have a listen. So very slight changes. Let's have a look. So that's much more accurate. And it just means that this MIDI track is just that bit cleaner for when we transfer it into MuseScore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of my MIDI tracks, make sure that they're all nice and clean, um, even if they sound a little bit robotic. Um, but yeah, just double check that it doesn't take away the integrity of the music that you've composed. That's all.